reading with Toby today. I am so excited to finally film my bookshelf tour. I wanted to do this before I go through my bookshelves and decide, oh this doesn't go here because I, I already did the tour. <laughs> I wanted to do this before I went through all my shelves to start on hauling some books which I will be doing a video on that so you guys can help me decide what books I want to unhaul. But before I did that I wanted to go ahead and do a bookshelf tour. I absolutely love my bookshelves, these are of course the ones from Ikea. I did a whole video on organizing my books. If you want to see that, I will link it down below. But this one, I'm just going through, doing a quick little tour. I don't go through every single book. I just kind of show you how I organized it and then some books that stood out to me to tell you about and the little trinkets and stuff that I have on here. And then I also show you on my TV stand, I have some books there that I go through. Toby wants to play. I'm so excited to finally do this for you guys, especially before I move, because I am moving into a bigger apartment, which is exciting, um, so I can redo my shelves again. Hope you guys are excited and go ahead and keep watching. All right, so this is the first shelf. As you can see, I just stacked all my Harry Potter um, illustrated editions up here. I have Fantastic Beasts and then the Gryffindor version of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I found that used, so I thought it was cute. So I just stacked them up here because I didn't have any other room. And then this is actually like a Halloween decoration that I completely forgot to put away. So I just put it there. It reminds me of um, the Weasley's house. So I thought it was cute. And I just leave it there. Then I have these little cat um, little lights that my mom got me for Christmas. And I didn't know where else to put them. So I just put them here and I thought they were cute. All right. So the very first shelf are adult well basically everything is adult like i said but this is more literary fiction that i just have stacked up here i am have a book spot open i don't know what goes here oh i guess um idaho goes here which was on my tbr so like i said these are adult literary fiction um this book here the unseen world by liz moore is definitely an underrated book on YouTube, I wish more people read. In fact, Liz Moore, she's a great author. That's a really great book. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng is definitely one of my favorites. On this shelf, of course, we have A Little Life by Hani Young Gahara. I love this book. I'm one of the people who absolutely loves this book. And I bought the UK edition because I just think it's so cool. And I know the face is like iconic for A Little Life, but I don't know. I, don't, I personally don't really like it. We have All's Well, Love Mona Awad. Um, over here is The Silent Delights, which I read a couple years ago and I absolutely loved. Dark Academia, um, love story kinda. Very, very good and dark book. Can't wait to see what else that author has. So yeah, that's just the first little shelf there. So we just came right across to the next shelf, which is again, more literary fiction, I have more historical fiction. It's probably like one of my least read genres, some historical fiction. And then I just have these book of the month. Um, these aren't all the book of the month. I don't get it anymore, but I just put like majority of them right here. And then I have this little guy that I got one year for Halloween, but I love him so much. So I keep him on my bookshelves all year round. His name is Mr. White. His first name is Walter. If you know that reference, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I love him. Um, so let's see what we got here. This book is absolutely beautiful. This is The Betrayals by Bridget Collins. Look at how beautiful it is. Let me show you the, look at that. Stunning. Love that so much. This is a really great like academia kind of mystery book. Um, of course we have The Starless Sea. I haven't read this, but this is another like beautiful edition. Oh, I don't think this is the right one. I have a like really pretty edition. I have two of them because I accidentally sent the wrong one, but okay, well that's good to know. <laughs> of course, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, one of my favorites. The Lonely Hearts Hotel, another underrated book that I think is so great. Um, what else we have here? 50 Words for Rain is a really great historical fiction that I think a lot of people would love. And then, like I said, these book of the month, I think I'm going to unhaul some of these. Um, here's another Liz Moore book that I was talking about earlier, Long Bright River. This is a great book. 
I think I'm gonna unhaul some of these. I don't know if I'm gonna read them, but that'll be another video soon where I'm doing my unhaul. So that is that shelf there. All right, so coming back to the other side of the shelf and coming down one, these are all, <laughs> uh, these aren't really genre based, again, just more adult. And I just love the look of all these short hard box all together and then I just stacked some books by um, women authors here so but first we have this little picture frame of my grandparents my grandma gave me this in 2001 and I've had this on like every bookshelf since and I love it so much it's just so cute so I keep that but we will move that up there for now all right so these are more little short hardbacks that I have a lot of these I feel like well, I don't know. I guess I've read like about half and half. Um, let's see. This book, I know. You either like absolutely love this book or absolutely hate this book. I, I actually really, really loved it. And I love this cover. It was really weird. <laughs> of course, I love Catherine House. These are some paperbacks. You know, I think I have not read a single book in this stack. So Station Eleven, I read like halfway through when it was like really popular however many years ago, but I never finished it. So I need to get to these. Let me know which of this books and these stacks I really need to get to. Over here, let's see. I really want to read Piranesi. This is like big on my TPR. I keep hearing great things about it. The Deep is another one I really want to get to. This cover is stunning. Um, what else we have here? Oh, Burnt Sugar is one of my favorite books last year. I absolutely love this. It's by Avni Doshi. This takes place in India. It's incredible. Definitely recommend if you like a little bit darker story. Same goes for Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death. This is a really great weird book as well. So that's that little stack. I just love, this is probably one of my favorite shelves because I just love how it looks. <laughs> right, coming right over to the next shelf. All right, so again, this is more um, of these smaller hardbacks together. I originally had this kind of separated in genres, but I recently changed it because I hated how it looked. <laughs> but these are more short story collections. We have some translated fiction. And you have some classics, but they're all kind of mixed together. And then I have my Batman Funko Pop here. Batman is my favorite superhero, so I love this. My little brother gave me that one. Um, all right, this is one of my also my favorite covers. I have not read this yet, but look at that. This is The Future is Female, 25 Classic Science Fiction Stories by Women. I really need to get to this or like read a couple stories here and there. But is that cover not incredible? I love it. Um, let's see. This is one that I read in college. I took this, uh, it was called Contemporary Literature, and we read only translated works. And this is one that I really love. This is called Scenes from a Village Life, and it's translated from the Hebrew by Nicholas DeLange. I really, really liked it. It was very strange. Like, no one else in my class liked it but me. <laughs> um, let's see. I read this one recently, The Dangers of Smoking in Bed, translated from Spanish. And this is a collection of, short, of horror short stories, which I really liked. What else we have here in this little stack? We have The Catcher in the Rye and the Giver, some classics here. The Vegetarian, which I really like this book. I can tell some of these books I think are fading from the sun, so I'm gonna have to take that into account when I move where I'm gonna put my bookshelves. Um, okay, over here is where we start the classics. So Weathering Heights is one of my favorites. I really like this edition, but I think I want to get the Penguin Cloth Bound in this. I really love Weathering Heights, The Bell Jar, Slaughterhouse-Five is a great one. Picture of Dorian Gray, I read this last year and I really enjoyed it. And then this is Dracula, which I read in high school. And I didn't like it in high school, but I have a feeling if I read it today, I would love it. So maybe I need to do that. But yes, there is that little stack. Okay, so now we start with my fantasy sh sections. This is another one of my favorite shelves. So here we have my little Harry Potter collection. Um, we have Newt Scamander, Funko Pop. He is one of my favorite wizards. Then we come over here and we have um, Fantasy by Black Authors, Marlon James and N.K. Jemison. Black Leopard Red Wolf is like my all-time favorite fantasy. The City We Became is great and I need to read these two books by both of the same authors. This is one of my favorite finds ever. It's a snow globe that I got, let me get a little closer, that I got during Halloween one year. And is this not incredible? You have a little skeleton man with a library behind him? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is amazing. And I named him Marlon off of Marlon James, who is 
one of my favorite authors. So you can tell this one got a little faded too, but honestly, that's okay. But yes, I love this so much. And then we have another one of my favorite fantasy series, The Rage of Dragons. I guess it's called The Burning. The Rage of Dragons, The Fires of Vengeance. This is an incredible fantasy by a black author, highly recommend. And then we have The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear, which I have not yet read, but I have them both. And then we have The Little Dust Jacket to the sequel to Black Leopard, Red Wolf, Moon Witch, Spider King by Marlon James. And that is there because I'm still reading it. So there's that shelf. All right, coming over, we have the sci-fi shelf. First, this is <laughs> Moon Witch, Spider King by Marlon James. So we'll just take that off. Um, but yes, this is my sci-fi shelf. We have another little Funko Pop. This one's given to me by my friend. So cute. I need to get more Batmans. I just, I need to collect them all. They're so cute. Um, okay, so let's see. I have this really cool edition that I found when I went thrifting of The Left Hand of Darkness. Let's see, by Ursula K. Le Guin, which I have not yet read, but I know this book is very famous. But isn't that such a cool, like, old school cover? Have that. Um, let's see. Of course, I have Dune, which I still haven't finished. But I have the beautiful edition with the sprayed edges. Love that so much. This is one of my all-time favorite books, The Book of Strange New Things by Michelle Favorite. I highly recommend. And I found this beautiful edition at Barnes & Noble. And it was like on sale. I absolutely love that book. Um, we'll see what else we got here. This actually is not science fiction. I don't know why this is here. <laughs> this is really good. And then what else we got? Rosewater was really great. These are just my um, TBR cards from my game, Zodiac TBR game. I just have them here, the ones that we chose, so that I don't pick them again. So there's my sci-fi shelf. Okay, coming down from the fantasy shelf, we have a little bit more fantasy here. These are all my hardbacks, of course some paperbacks, but they are all so beautiful. I have not been reading a lot of fantasy recently, and I need to get back into it. I really do like my fantasy. So I think this is the beautiful um, Starless Sea edition. Yeah, there we go. I got the navy blue, which is so pretty. I still need to read this book. Ninth House I loved. Um, of course, <laughs> Invisible Life of Addie LaRue I loved. Um, we have the Mistborn series, which I've only read the first one. I need to get to the rest. The Lies of Black Lamora, which I read a while ago and I really, really enjoyed this. I need to get to the second one. This is an actual. This is actually an ornament of the Iron Throne, but I keep it out because it just like fits perfectly with the fantasy theme. I have some little tabs here that I use for reading. They're just out. What else we have here? Um, this book, written and read by Anne Bishop. I read this a while ago. This is like an urban fantasy, and like I feel like if you know me, you've watched my channel, like you would not think I would read this and like it, but I did. I thought it was actually so good and just entertaining. I loved it, so I really need to get to the second one, um, which is here. What else we have? Game of Thrones, which I read and loved, and then the Poppy War. I need to get to that. I need to get to the Poppy War and Nevermind. Those are two fantasies that I feel like I need to read because people love them. So there is my little fantasy shelf. All right, coming over, we have one of my favorite shelves, which is my horror shelf. I recently discovered my love of horror books, and when I move, I think I'm gonna have an entire like bookcase like smaller bookcase but just dedicate to my horror then I can have like really cool horror knickknacks <laughs> oh gosh all right so this is fangs here um a sweet subscriber sent this to me it was anonymous so I'm not sure who sent it but this is like the sweetest gift and I read this and I absolutely loved it it's just a love story between um this is little paper a love story between a werewolf and a vampire and it was so cute and funny and I absolutely loved it and I want to display it because I love the cover, but we'll put it down for now. All right, so let's see some of these um, horror books. This one I really need to get to, Sorrowland by River Solomon. I really, really need to get to that one. Of course, My Best Friend's Exorcism, like the most incredible cover. Love me some Grady Hendrix. Um, okay, what else we got here? Reprieve by James, James Hahn Matson is was such a great social horror i highly recommend if you love literary fiction and you like a little bit more social commentary in your horror you will love this um of course <laughs> bunny by mona wad one of my favorite books i really need to reread read this i love this so much and is it crazy i want to buy the paperback version of this too because <laughs> it's like hot pink and i think it is so cute and the spine is so pretty i may try to find like a really cheap 
paperback which I don't do I'm not that kind of person but I really want it so why not <laughs> what else we have here the year of the witching which I didn't care for Mark Z. Danielowski's books little collection I have read the first book of this familiar series which I really enjoyed I need to get to the rest House of Leaves I need to read have not and then we have Stephen King um Joe Hill I have not read it. It's on my list. I am intimidated. I did read the Institute though and I really liked it. Um, but I love, I found these old copies of Stephen King. Like how amazing are these? I found both of these used for such a great price. I feel like now it's so hard to find, but like, isn't this amazing? These are classic books with <laughs> Stephen King on the back. What? It's so funny. I love it so much. I'll never ever get rid of these. All right, so that is my little horror shelf. I do have more horror books, which I will show you once we finish this entire bookshelf. Okay, coming down from that fantasy, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this shelf and this shelf together because these are both my YA books. These are the only YA books that I have. All right, so I have um, the Chaos Walking series, which I never completed. I did read The Knife of Never Letting Go, which it wasn't this supposed to be a movie with Tom Holland, right? That needs to happen. Hello, Toby. <laughs> um, yeah, I never got to reading the second one, but I really enjoyed the first one. This series, which I loved, the Legend series. Um, do I remember anything that happened? This was years ago, like before medical school. This is when I was in grad school. I read the series and I absolutely loved it. So I will always keep those. Um, the Dream Thieves, which I need to get to. Of course, I have my one Twilight book. I got rid of the other ones just because I knew I was never going to read them, but. I want to keep the first one for nostalgia reasons. <laughs> um, what else we got? Wilder Girls, which I absolutely loved. And then over here, we have some, um, we have some graphic novels and some comics. So I have like Saga here, volume three, this one, Paper Girls I read, which I really liked. I need to get the other one. This is volume one. Um, and then like these, my brother bought me these. They are the Teen Titans series. This is just the first two. So you have Raven and Beast Boy. I really need to read them. He has read them and really liked them. But yeah, I really need to get to those. Those are so cute. Because we both love Teen Titans. So there's that one. And I will move down to the next row. Okay, there's little Toby. Toby's making a little appearance. Hi, Tobes. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. All right. So these are the rest of my... Um, YA books. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Let's see. What do we have here? Children of Blood and Bone. I really want to read. A lot of people that I talk to who like aren't readers have read this book, which I thought is so interesting and they really liked it because it's such a big book. But yeah, <laughs> so I need to get to that one. Strange the Dreamer. You know, I've been thinking about this book a lot recently. <laughs> I think I want to reread it or read Muse of Nightmares. I don't know why I've been thinking about this. And I've been thinking about um Laszlo Strange and that like I want to get back into this world so maybe that'll be happening soon I need to buy Muse of Nightmares we have that this book here more than this by Patrick Ness this is the very first book I ever reviewed on my channel I love this book so much it's called more than this isn't that so cool I really need to reread this I love this book so much I thought it was brilliant it's about this boy who wakes up and realized that he's died very interesting I really really enjoyed it um okay what else we got anything interesting 172 hours on the moon this was a really great horror ya book if you're looking for one um okay let's go on this side a couple more um all boys aren't blue is a great memoir lots away of course i love this book it's so beautiful and then vicious by v.e schwab i think technically this is an adult novel but it fit here and i need to oh there's toby and I really need to reread it. So that is my little YA section. We have two more shelves on the other side. Coming over from that first YA shelf and down from my horror, we have this section here, which is literally just like whatever books could fit here. <laughs> whatever I couldn't fit anywhere else, I just threw on the shelf. Um, it's not my favorite looking shelf, but you know, you gotta throw them up here. First, we have this little candle. Wow, this candle um, and the scent fresh shave i actually bought this for a like white elephant gift but it didn't end up working with like the theme i was doing <laughs> so i just kept it myself and it smells so good it smells like um i don't even know okay just like cologne which are one of my favorite scents and it doesn't say the scent but 
I love it so much. So I will be burning that one day, but I thought I just put that there because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Okay, so like I said, these are just a hodgepodge of books. We have The House of the Cerulean Sea, which I really loved. Middle Game, which I just rewatched Books and Lala's video talking about Middle Game, and it got me pumped for the sequel. Um, yeah, I can't wait for it to come out, which should be next month. We'll see, we have lots of random books. The Book Thief, a classic, which I did enjoy a lot. We have Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel, which I started reading. I, how far did I get? Oh, I literally got 80 pages, but I was absolutely loving it. But it's just one of those books that I put down for absolutely no reason, and I need to get to it, because I was really, really enjoying it. Fight Club, I love this edition. There's so many editions out there, but I love this one. I found this used. And this is one of my favorite. This book is so good. And the movie is so good. So love that. If you haven't read this book and you like the movie, they are different, but I recommend. Um, Call Me By Your Name, one of my all-time favorite movies. Did not enjoy the book that much. Open Water. This is an incredible, incredible book. It's all about black body, black art. It's a love story. It's just incredible. I highly recommend. It's like my most tabbed book. Ever. There's so many beautiful quotes. I highly, highly recommend. We have my Liam Moriarty collection and we have some Colin Hoover books and then a little bit more um, romance. We have the notebook, which I loved when I was younger, the Rosie Project, which I thought was really great, and the Shock of the Fall, which I haven't read yet. So there is that little shelf. We did it! Or we are on the last shelf of these two bookcases. So this here is my thriller mystery section, which I have said before, thrillers are not my favorite genre, so I don't have too many of them. I like a good mystery. I don't like thrillers I'm like hit and miss with. <laughs> but let's see what we have here. The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hugo. Oh, sorry. Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle is one of my favorite mysteries. This one, Behind Her Eyes, I really, really want to read because I think I'm going to love it. And I want to know. Everyone talks about this ending and how crazy it is. So I want to know. Um, I really enjoyed The Silent Patient. I DNF the Maidens. I hated it so much. <laughs> I thought it was so boring. Um, this one here, Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robble. I don't know. The, I think that's a part of it. Um, yeah, I think this is like another underrated book. This is really good. I really enjoyed it. We have my little Gillian Flynn collection here. I've read all of her books. My Sister to the Serial Killer by o Oyakan Breathwaite. Highly recommend. Loved it. Um, over here we got some more Riley Sager. So these are some of the book of the month ones that I have. Um, I've read Lock Every Door. I have not read Home Before Dark. I do want to read that. And then yeah lastly let's see this book here. I can't wait to read. This is a horror book that I've been wanting to read for years and I found it at Half Price Books. It's called Foxlow. Can't wait. But yes, that is the end of this little two bookshelves. We will go over to my TV stand where I have some more books there. If we come over from my shelves over there, come right over to my TV, to my little TV stand here, which I absolutely love this TV stand. I have some more books here as you can see. So I thought I would go ahead and show you these and how I put it all together. This little section I think is so cute. One of my favorites. This is the um, Grey's Anatomy Barnes & Noble edition, which is so beautiful. Like, look at that. If you don't know, I am a resident, pediatric resident, so I'm a doctor, and I love this so much. So beautiful. I have always wanted one of these, and I will display it always in my house now forevermore. <laughs> And then this is one of my favorite new additions to my house. I will link the shop down below, but this was actually a Valentine's Day card. And it's a little ghost hugging a haunted house. And it says, you're the only haunt I need. Are you kidding me? Is this not so cute? So I put it in a little gold frame because I love it so much. And I just have like two candles back here. This one is actually um, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue themed. It smells really good. <laughs> so yes, I love this little section of my bookcase. It's so cute. And it makes me so happy every time I look at it. All right. So this little section are more of my horror books. Like I said, I'm really getting into my horror novels and I keep, just keep buying them. <laughs> and I just love them so much. That's why I think I'm gonna have a whole shelf dedicated in my next apartment, which I will of course do a whole video on. But we have some chunky ones here. The Book of Accidents, I love this cover, Playing Bad Heroines. Um, this book was sent to me by a subscriber. I guess this is technically more thriller. In my dreams, I hold a knife, but I think I'm going to love it, even though it's a thriller. 
Sundial, I did read I hate. I think I'm the only one that does not like this cover, but this was pretty good. I gave it, I think, three stars. It wasn't my favorite, but I didn't hate it. This book is probably, I think, is my newest addition to my shelves. This is The Death of Jane Lawrence. I found this really cheap on Pingo Books. I love this cover. And one day I was in the bookstore and I like read the first page and I was loved it. I know it's getting mixed reviews, but I'm curious to check it out. Um, let's see, The Only Good Indian is one of my all-time favorite horror novels. And then these two are also new additions. We have A Tinder is the Flesh and Tell Me I'm Worthless. How beautiful are they? Oh, yes, I just love this section. It makes me so happy to sit and look at all my horror books together. <laughs> All right, and then if we just slide on over to this little section, these here are my non-fiction books. And then I have some records, because I do have a record player. I don't have it out right now because my apartment is so tiny, so maybe in my next place. But these are all records. I will show them because I'm sure, I'm curious what records people have. I need to buy more. So I have, obviously, Astro World, obviously, Good Kid, Mad City. <laughs> oh, I have the most random ones. Queen Greatest Hits. I love Queen. Who doesn't? Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. Great album. I Made Before Christmas um, soundtrack. My favorite movie of all time. Of course, Michael Jackson Thriller. You can't not have it. And then um, Damn by Kendrick Lamar, who's my favorite rapper of all time. I cannot wait for his new album. Oh! <laughs> Those are all my records. I need to put some Taylor Swift in here to my collection. I'm gonna fix that so they're all out. But these are my nonfiction. Um, okay, so we have The Emperor of All Maladies, which I was reading, but then it got into clinical trials and I found it very boring, so I need to get back into that. When Breath Becomes Air follows a neurosurgeon who gets diagnosed with um, cancer. This was like heartbreaking, but I really loved it. This is one of my all-time favorite books, an Astronaut Sky to Life on Earth by Colonel Chris Hadfield. Freaking love this. I actually read this as an audiobook and it was amazing. I highly recommend. This is gonna be my next one, I think, that I read, The Disordered Cosmos, A Journey into Dark Matter, Space Time, and Dreams Deferred by Dr. Chana Prescott Weinstein. I don't think you say it like that, but <laughs> um, yes, my favorite kind of nonfiction books are science-y usually. Um, so I love space, so I, those are like my favorite ones. Um, but this here is also an incredible uh, memoir in the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. This is like absolutely incredible. It's told in little, uh, I don't even know, like different devices about her experience in a abusive relationship. And it is like perfection, highly recommend. And then back behind these books, I just have some celebrity actual actually celebrity books so I'll just show you what I have not that kind of girl by Lena Dunham is everyone hanging out without me by Mandy Kaling and then my all-time favorite bossy pants by Tina Fey love this book all right so that is my little bookshelf tour for that little section. All right guys, that is the end of my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun showing you guys all the books on my shelves here. So let me know all of your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.